We need to do more thinking and research on the role of women within the colonial experience. Particularly, one woman in Plymouth Colony who is extraordinary, Elizabeth Warren, comes over in the summer of 1623 with her five daughters, range between the age of four and 13. She's joining her husband, Richard, who has come here on his own. And I believe that they are not one of those families that gets separated when Speedwell is left behind and they need to reduce the numbers. And some people are asked to stay behind. Your children are so small or you have so many girls, you can't contribute to labor. I think Elizabeth Warren was purposefully left behind in London because in 1619, there is a law that says, men, your wives may not do your business for you unless you are physically or mentally ill. Because what was happening is so many men were relying on their wives to do their negotiating and women being skillful at purchasing from their childhood when they marketed with their mothers they were bringing prices down and they were driving hard bargains. And so the men of London said, that's it, no woman may do business. But if a husband is ill or absent, a woman could run a business with no charge of masculinity or power grabbing. So Richard Warren, by coming to what he thought was going to be Virginia on his own, but leaving her in London, she could run a business and if everything went belly up, he could return to London and walk right into that functioning business. And how do we know she was a good businesswoman? They are reunited. They are together only four years and he dies. He dies in 1628 and she never remarries. She's a widow for 43 years. And at the end of her life, she has one of the largest land holdings in the colony with easily 13 miles of coastline from what is now the town of Plymouth to the town of Sandwich on Cape Cod. And she has vast holdings in the Western territories that are now the border region of Massachusetts and Rhode Island. And she represents an extraordinary moment in the colony's history she is brought before every free man. Freeman meaning you have the ability to vote, you have the ability to hold office. She is made to appear before the general court and the governor and his council say to all of these men, when you look at this woman, you are to see her husband in her. And for 43 years, she exercised the male role knowing if she remarried, she lost all legal identity and all financial power. But what happens is she, can, she consolidates properties for her children and she becomes, her children become some of the most respected and affluent people by the 18th century. Extraordinary woman.